Okay, um, four minutes. Let's see how we go on an excellence algebra MCAT. This is from 2011. It's a story about having a pathway made of concrete that is X wide that follows around the shape of a building. We're asked to find the value of X and that we are told that the total value of the shape here is 9 meters squared. To do this we need to be thinking about the fact that we've got rectangles and a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is base times a height. And I can roughly see three rectangles here. One up here, one here in the middle, and a third one down here. Now when I'm thinking of these, when I think of this rectangle here, I think of x times 2, which is 2x. When I think of this rectangle here, the base is x and its height is 6, take off 2x's. It's a little bit complicated this one. We get 6x take away 2x squared. And finally, our third one, we get a base of 3x and we get a height of x. So that is 3x squared. The total area is the three rectangles. So the three rectangles are 2x plus 6x minus 2x squared and our 3x squared. This is 8x plus x squared. And we're told that our area is worth 9. When I put this equation with that value, x squared plus 8x equals 9, the formula equals 9, the area equals 9, x squared plus 8x minus 9 equals 0, I have a quadratic, two values of x, what multiplies to minus 9 but adds up to positive 8, plus 9 minus 1. Two opposite values, I'm going to therefore have x is minus 9, or x is 1 metre, minus 9 is impossible. It is our excellent solution.